Hi, everybody. My voice is different because I want to be sensual and sexual oh, really? with this person. Oh my gosh, do you know how excited I am to talk to you, Taze? Baby, the pleasure is all mine. It's been a while, Crocodile. We've been waiting to talk. Forever. It's been, it's been in the works. It's been in the works. You literally took me by storm on your season. But what took me by storm, actually, was when I opened up my Instagram DMs. And there was a random video of you being like, Hey, babes, it's Jenny Lemon. And I was like... I literally shat myself. I was like, the taste? The taste. Me like this? In your DMs? I, in my DMs? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's a cutie. I had to slide in for two uh, seconds, say hi. I was dying. You on your season, you were so good. You turned out so many lip syncs. Thank you. You had the blood. I, I mean, love me some blood. I'm obs I have an obsession. Love you some blood. I do. I just love it. I love. I love red. I love the color of it. I love the liquid of it. I love the drip, drip, drop, yes, the drapisha drip, drip, drip. Yes. all over my face. And yeah, my name is Taste. Let's go. Did ah! you Did you expect the fandom to be so receptive to you? Did you expect the love? I didn't expect it, but I get it. You know, like I mean, I like to think that I've been judged a lot by the way I look and I'm not a bitch at all. I'm, I talk a yes. lot of shit. I think I'm very goofy. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care to be stupid. I don't care to have a camp time. It's all about, oh, you gotta like hold yourself a certain way and speak a certain way. Like, no, be yourself, love who you are, yes. and let it shine because there's only one of everyone, do you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And you, after you got off the show, you didn't win, but you honestly won this past year. Why win the crown when you can win the crowds? That's what I think. You and know? when you can win Coke endorsements. You know what I mean? Face of absolute, face of Coke, this, that, whatever. It is how, what it is. How was living that dream? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's been a full, like, full circle in life. I mean, everything I'm doing now is shit I always knew I could do and I've always wanted to do, but uh -huh. it's just amazing to be actually doing it and just, yeah, I'm just going through a journey and take a day, take a day by day. And it's also hitting you so fast, too. Yeah, like, but that's why I like it. Hit me fast, oh, baby. Oh, fast and hit loose. Hit it fast. Hit, hit it, it in back. the back from the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I would love to know, this is your first time in the U I mean, This the is US? my first time in America ever in my whole life. Ever. Never been here before. I've done, like, a little bit of Europe. UK, obviously, because I live there. But, yeah, this is my first time ever here. I did my first gig last night How in America. The precinct. It was so good. I still don't, I still, I'm kind of get trying to get you my head the around tips? the whole pulling tips vibes because in the UK we don't do that yeah. so it's just that you give a show from beginning to end like a concept a vibe a mood a scene and over here some people, no t no shade but some people they just walk around the whole time and just go a, a I don't do that. do that. I don't. I don't have time for that. I like to dance. I like to do my shit. I like yes. to hit my choreo, hit my steps. But I was trying to work. I like where do I go to do the whole tip thing? But it's been camp. It's been amazing. I'm um, gigging tonight at Mickey's. Yes. And I'm a gloss on Monday. So it's gonna be. And gorgeous. then how much longer are you in the US? I'm here for like a week, and then I'm touring around for the British Invasion tour. So it's um, Seattle, San Francisco, San Diego, Boston, wow. Dallas, Texas, um, New York, and then I'm in Canada. So I'm here, I'm here literally in America, in the States and for like a good month. You guys are like the first actual international girls to have a tour, to yeah. be able to actually do that. Yeah. Are you excited? I mean, the proof is in the pudding. and everybody wants a slice. Everybody wants a slice. Yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> so we're having all of the girls stick their hand in the hole in the bowl. Okay. And they pull out a question and they answer it. Unfortunately, so many of the girls have been taking the questions with them. So we I was going to say, left. there's two. Oh, it's when's two the left. Oh my gosh, there's so many questions in there. Who's <laughs> Who smelt worse on your season? Well, it definitely wasn't me because I always smell amazing. I think yes. it's better to smell good than look good, you know, fill the senses. Who smelt worse on my season? Ooh, ooh, let me think. Let me think about this one. It's a toss up, you know. A lot of them do not wash. I could see that. I've seen those, I've seen, I've, I've peeked in those hotel rooms. A lot of them are very messy, mama. Ooh, who, who stinks like absolute shit? You know what? I'm gonna say, <laughs> she's gonna hate it, Ellie Diamonds, only because, and she does, she actually doesn't stink, she just stinks of monster energy drinks, and I hate monster energy drinks. I like Red Bull, so that's it. She drinks these like mango, she's like, Tess, get me one of those monster eh? I'm like, no, I don't like it. So, Ellie Diamond, you're a stinky cunt. <laughs> Ellie Diamond, we need to get you sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> I'm gonna get you an absolute deal, girl. No. 
I I love you, Ali. There was one question that was in that box that I would love to ask okay. you. I would love to know, was there a critique or something that a judge said to you that didn't make it to air that you wish would have? Um, yes. Yes, actually, there was. Episode two, memory, red outfit, blood. Um, I was basically just critiqued for the fact that I didn't give my frame was masculine and I didn't give a womanly frame but in drag not in the real life not every woman in the world has big tits big hips little ways so, you know I base myself off supermodels heroin chic if you will yes. skin and bones that's how I was born it's me I didn't try to be skinny I'm just skinny yeah. but I, I would look stupid in pads out here and tits out here you know it's not my vibe and I mean models don't look like that and I love I to mean, model look, they made Jenny Lemon do what she did and that was exactly I mean I love it it's nice to try new things and like I tried new things like after that after that break with COVID I came back and I tried the whole corset and pads vibe but it's not me I felt like I was yeah. wearing a costume and to me it, my drag my name is Tace as that's my boy in it that's my actual name it's just me with a bit of a slap on there's no personality difference there's no do you know what I mean it's just me with in, in a look so yeah. I was like, I'm going to be me and I'm going to do it, but I'll try it. But yeah, that's it. I think wear what you want, wear what feels comfortable. Don't follow the trend. Don't follow the beat that everyone's dancing to. Live your own life and do your own thing. You, simple as that. It's as simple as that. And you also had a very popular catchphrase. Would the you like cheek, to give it? The nerve, the gall, the audacity, and the motherfucking gumption. Ooh, let, let's do that one more time because I was annoying and talked over you. You had the cheek, the nerve, the goal, the audacity, and the gumption. <laughs> oh, that, how did you think of that? Where did that come I from? I don't know where I think of anything. I just talk a lot of shit. You just I talk just, a lot of I shit. I go one, two, three, and whatever comes to my head, I just say it. And it just comes out bad. Yeah, baby. My mind's very crazy. I'll have to <laughs> dive into it sometime. <laughs> so, um, as we're closing all of this out, and then we're going to go in the back room and have a great time. I, yes. Yes. I would love for you to plug yourself. What's coming up down the road? Oh, so I have a solo tour in September in the UK. I want to bring it to America, though. But if you're in the UK, yes. you should come through. It's going to totally be very dance-heavy. And there might be some original songs in there. I might what? be working Are on some music. Are we breaking into that world? Might be breaking into the music industry a little bit. It's something I've always wanted to do. Yes. And I'm I'm not really a singer, but I can wrap the house fucking down, bitch. Yes. And I love and a concept. I love music videos. I love I have, like the whole like production line behind it. But there's things coming, so be ready. I've got some deals in the works. So you'll be seeing a lot of more of Tace's face. More of Tace's face. Yes, baby. Ooh. And where can everybody find you on the socials? Uh, it's Tace on Instagram and it's underscore Tace on Twitter. But I've hardly ever used Twitter. I'm not a Twitter girl. I try. Yes. I, I don't. I just don't. I'm not that person to be like. Oh, I'm on the toilet right now, and I had a big fat shit. Also, That's not how I work. Meaner on Twitter. They what? They're meaner. I mean, because they're keyboard warriors. That's yeah. why I like to say shit with my cock. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like Instagram, I like the visual vibe. I'm not like just words. You know, if I have a book, give me pictures. Give me pictures. Baby. <laughs> Well, one thing that we're doing before I let you go is we're having all the queens that come through sign a lipstick. Amazing. And one random fan who comments on this video who couldn't be at DragCon, I will send that lipstick to them. Oh, gosh. So if you want a lipstick from Taste, comment down below your favorite part of the interview. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, darling. Like the I pleasure love is you. all mine. It's been a long time Ooh, coming. Long time coming, and we'll be a long time coming. Oh, all yes, right, guys, baby. Bye.